you want more work, contact me on the hard line. Was there ever a time you read? Chopper is prepped and waiting off Grummer Road in Northwood. Your sometime accomplice Jacob is there. He's riding shotgun on this one. Jacob? The Rasta? Don't ask unnecessary questions. I want you to take out this guy's chopper. He was last spotted in Varsity Heights. No civilian casualties. This is it, madam. Uh, We're here. Look, listen. You're live on the radio. Uh, have you got anything to say? What? Yes, here's my man, Nico. Hey, Jacob. Good 
shot, Jacob. We got some crucial flying skills in an echo. Can you drop an eye up on the elephant dog? You know, fear so good, you know. Trust me, this thing I'm messing with my structure. Yo, job well done in an echo. But we have to get out of this bomb back like dead right now, you know. I do not think he can ask us to do more than this. Now it's our turn to get him to help us. If someone can find the man I search for, it should be him. Let's do it. to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up, though, before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me. Stage of the... Audner Avenue. Totally Drive. Nobody Ooh. knows this. This is it, buddy. We're here. Thanks a lot. Hey, brother. Is there anything that needs to be handled? I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. There's some heat on this one. The target is at the police station in Leftwood. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Everything is taken care of, brother. If you're in need of another file, we can discuss it on the hard line. Please be more careful. Think you need the car where you're going. Yo, Nikki, what's up, homie? 
Our boy Stevie hit me up. He wanna hook us up with the sweet ride. He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Yeah, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's gonna be in touch with you about some cars he needs found, if you catch my meaning. Sure, I have the ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man, you are the boy. I'll call Stevie. of knowing the future, of understanding the past. Hey, it ain't our problem, playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. That right. You cold, Nico. Peace and love. say you had some work done there, Brandon. Nice t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, this t-shirt is part of our campaign. See, we're gonna kill global warming once and for all, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, we're gonna have a concert, get a lot of people together to really rally, you know, and feel the music and the message. And, and once you feel that, once you feel that, you'll, you'll wanna buy the t-shirt and the program, the commemorative DVD we're making, the, the limited edition MP3 player. And, and once we join together, all of us join together, Global warming will end, man. Global warming will end. I mean, look, I'm no scientist, okay? But sometimes these scientists, they, they just make things confusing. It takes actors and musicians to explain important issues, you know? I mean, this is about intelligent people like me making a difference at a... a rid of Dwayne already? I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? 
Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! This ain't Take no that fucking motherfucker! You was money. You a low rate bitch. You're a bad joke, Playboy. Even if you kill me, you're gonna have this whole town after your ass. Not such a big man now, are you? Get this motherfucker! I don't think you need this anymore. Stand enough! Where are you going, Playboy? Someone, Nico! Another motherfucker gone and let the money go to his head. You cold, man. You cold. Taking a cat down in his prime? I was an innovator! You didn't change the game. The game changed you. Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You are right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk chic loft. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. It'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Alright, brother, I'm in need of a job. I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. It's three men. They've been lured to an old building in Alderney City. Finish them there. Don't get overexcited, it's just a robbery. So, uh... Smell, I just laid some gas in here.
Tell the client that they don't need to worry. Righteous. I'll get our payment. Contact me on the outside line for more jobs. probably don't remember giving you my number or who you are. Ladies, uh, I'm sorry it was a one night stand. Hey brother, is there anything that needs to be handled? I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. You need to eliminate three targets at the refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. So... This is as close as I can get. Laszlo? Yes. Bye. 
Close that file for you, brother. The client will be pleased to hear that. If you want more files, you can reach me on the outside line. on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Vigo. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hi, Nico. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. You're about to feel some real pain, asshole. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. Most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god! Get the hell out of the way! Get behind. 
behind the wheel of that Romero. You, me, and my brother are getting out of here. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? It's not Rose, like is it? Shit, we lost the back doors! Don't lose my brother! I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck! I met my brother, Francis! It was a joke! Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother.